What's up guys? So, me and the new guy just got done. Busy day at the shop, but uh, figured I'd give you guys a treat. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna tour the new guy's Cornwell box. Pretty, pretty awesome box, so check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys. So here's his awesome Cornwell box. I'm actually pretty jealous. They just came out with this one this year. It's got the power drawer, platinum series. You got 84 long and 30 inches deep. So it's pretty much the same, same as my bottom over there. He's got the, uh, the metallic blue trim. I dig it. It's got it's keyless, so you got the touch pad. You put any code in there you want. The batteries are removable on the side here. He's got the stainless top on there, and I guess from what I hear, they're coming out with the accessories for it. So the hutch, maybe side lockers, overheads. Who knows what Cornwell has in store for us? But we're gonna give this thing a quick tour. You could even see the casters on the bottom. Got more casters than, than my box does too. They run a set down in the center, so you got six all together. And they're chrome, got Cornwell on them. Definitely a nice box. But we're gonna get ready to tour this thing. All right guys, so here's Steve. What's up guys? Quick thing too, a side note, this thing does have power strip on the top. And Steve just told me that this thing is 1,500 pounds empty. So, I mean, this thing pretty much stands up to the snap-on boxes. You know, I don't know much about Mac boxes and Maco, but this one, pretty proud to have it in the shop, man. But we're going to get into the tour on this thing, man. What do you got? Let's see. Start off with the sockets. Nothing got a socket crazy. drawer. Looks like he's got his impacts the all started, set up. The starter set. Yeah. Where I started from. And, and he's got the nice organization. See, I need some socket ideas too. We're waiting on an organization socket. For me, these are pretty nice. What these run, you remember? 40 bucks a piece. 40 a piece, and they're solid metal. I'm sure you guys, I'm sure so many guys use these. I've actually thought about using them, but it cool does take up a good footprint. You can actually yeah. Just, yeah. take it with you. Wherever that, you that way mobile mechanics, uh, some of them obviously oh. break because they're plastic, but you're a mobile mechanic or take, you know, you're getting ready to do a job, put it on your tool cart. You know, don't know the size, you can just take the whole thing. So how do you got it set up? What do you got, your quarter inch over here? Uh, it starts quarter inch, three eighths. Oh, on the first rows, okay. Short, deep, some randoms, Ran impacts. Random impacts, uh, most impacts over here. This is three impacts. eighths. Yeah, three eighths, half inch, quarter inch. They're all the same setup. Quarter inch, three eighths, half inch. Nice, nice. Got the standards on this side, metric on this side. No 12 points. Not bad. Some swivels. Swivel sockets and all the little quarter Big inch. breaker bar. He's got big ratchets, snap-on ratchet here. A couple other soft grip snap-on ratchets there. It looks More like your Amazon there. Echo is not registered. For help, go to your Alexa app. Next one, we got the screwdrivers. And we got the screwdriver Forks, drawer. Pry bars, picks, anything with a handle. Got a nice padding on this thing too. This thing's pretty thick. Came with the padding installed already. And it's branded. Nice set here. What this set run? You remember? Blue point. I do not remember. You guys I know I dig the, this. Got it on the promo. You can see you got your long torques in here. You got your Allens, short torques, really tiny torques. Wow, that's awesome on quarter inch. Got the nice inverted. set. Yeah, inverted. Yep. Get the Real nice set. In. I'd probably say it, it's probably 250 bucks. Yeah, it was being blue point. It was yeah. That. Got the pry bars back here. Drawers are definitely long enough to fit the bigger tools in them. And you can see how thick these handles are when he opens up this next one. I mean, they got some girth to them. And then the locking mechanism is just a latch you push up. I don't know if any other Cornwall box is like that, but it's like the same setup there. So it locks on both ends and you could grab it anywhere you want. You could grab it here and open it. No matter where your hand is, it's going to latch it. So this your wrench drawer? Yeah, basic wrenches. Yep. Got the double flex. Yeah, these are nice too. You showed me these. I guess a Cornwell exclusive. I don't know if you guys are using these, but those are really nice. You could see there, you could flex them twice, pretty much turn them into a ratchet. Yeah, you get into some pretty. But yeah, you got all the angles there. 
I dig these, man. I got to look into this. I'll talk to him about these. Definitely look into these. You remember what you pay for these? Uh, they're expensive. I know. Arm and a leg, yeah. probably. I can only imagine what you paid for the box, but. <laughs> Speed wrenches. More Cornwall stuff. Cornwall. I got nothing against Cornwall, man. I like him. He's got the snap on in here, too. So you know he's, he's repping the JRC 54. Got to have some snappies. Started yeah. off what with are the these? Snap on. Just a uh, belt tool. Belt oh, yeah. Tensioner tool. Goes along with this? Yep. Nice. Nice. Reminds me of the gear wrench that I got. He's got the wrench extender in here, too. You guys know I've yet to pick this thing up. I'd rather not bust my knuckles. Maybe I'll try his a few times, see if I like it. Made by Monster. Yeah, Monster actually. And Cornwell sells stuff. mostly that too. I always yeah. see it on the truck. Pliers. Vice nice grips. plier set, vice grip set. He's got the remote spring. Hose clamp. Yeah, hose belt for the spring tensioner or spring uh, clamp. Inner tie rod. Uh, oh, that's nice. Yeah, to squeeze the clamp. Call, yeah, the boot clamp. Yep. Get yep. those down. I always use just uh, the nips to do that. But yeah, it's nice to have it. Get it done the right way. Snap ring pliers, uh, some ash. Moving on to a, an empty drawer. He's got, the, he's got room to grow, yeah. but you can see how nice with this drawer, you can see how thick this thing, I mean, this is this is nice padding. Is this reversible too? What's on this side? Uh, oh, so it's just backwards. Yeah. So yeah, you can't flip it. I was saying it maybe if you didn't yeah, want the badging it, showing. Yeah, it would be reversible. Nice tight fit in there though. It definitely fits all the corners. Yeah, the memory. It's quality, yeah. man. The tracks are quality. I got, I got nothing bad to say. Look how thick that track is. It's like a double, I don't know, it just looks thicker than mine. Then the Epic box, it's like a double tracking system. Like and it's I'm smooth. Saying. Here, give that, give that a, like a quick shove. Let me see how that shuts. So it doesn't even really doesn't slam. slam. Mine slams, well mine's not level, but mine's really heavy too. But next door here, it looks like you got a couple blow molded cases. It's coming down to some specialties. Uh, yep. Torque wrench, thermo. Uh, thermo, yeah, yeah, thermal, the gun. The thermal laser. imager. It's not an imager, but it's a thermometer. Uh, this is nice. Set. Set. Yeah, he showed me this next the other day, made by Irwin, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm sure it's all the companies making the reband of this, but yeah. this is pretty much what you're buying if you're buying a Maco set. You're buying this. Left-handed drill bits. Nice. To make pilots yeah. To get the get and then it extracted. It looks like you probably broke one or yeah, lost got, one. Got one warranty. Yeah. And, and then of course this is exactly what mine look like. You still got stuck <laughs> pieces in there, <laughs> threads from this one. Still got to work them out. Yeah. One time use. <laughs> when I when I need it again. Another gear wrench, torque wrench, what, quarter? Yeah, quarter, quarter and torque wrench. And you know wrench. you know they make nice torque wrenches. Yeah. You know that's nice. For the Newton meters, got the spark plug. Who makes uh, that? This is a... That's Corn Cornwell, rebrand, probably the same brand I got, but just rebrand Cornwell. You got a, you got a tap in here too. Yeah, that's for... Uh, uh, that's O2s? Bungs, yeah. Okay, so he's got, a, he's got an O2 bung in there to retap the O2s uh, when the threads come out. The, yeah. yeah, nice. Got it all set up, nice. <clears throat> Another nice set here, guys. Was showing me these. We needed these the other day before he got his box here, but uh, I definitely got to look into these. Nice set. You could hammer it, or you could put it on the air hammer. Definitely dig that one. I got to be talking to the guy about that. He's got all his bits in there. Corwell impact hammer. Cold chisels, roll pinch puns, extended chisels. Look at that hammer, guys. The FH. Jeez. Look at that. Mallet in there. He's got the snap-on hammers. This reminds me of that the Wilson or whatever with the grip on there. I like that hammer. I was swinging that early on an axle, guys. Breaking some stuff. Down to the air drawer. And of course, you got the Milwaukee's pass. in there. Yeah, what's in there? Open that up. Let's see. That's a nice set too. It's German, so you know the Germans make good stuff. Nice. Look how, look how beefy that is. BVC clamp for the for the ball joints, and you got your it's got the uh, bushing installer. Bushing installer and Does it remove too? Yeah, it's a yeah. remover and installer. Nice, all in one kit. So and then these these are one. these are cavities just to fit these, right? It's yeah. not like you put it's, that doesn't extend. So that's like no. pretty much the full set. Yeah. Look at the size of this thing, guys. Look at my hand. My I stick my I think my Mac O one or Mac one or whatever I got is about three quarters of the size of this. This thing's huge. Awesome. What else you can get? Yeah, the accessory. Definitely. Yeah, they always try to make you buy you know, more. This is actually really cool. You put this. You actually attach this to your shop press, and you can thread your uh, spindle onto here instead of messing with arbor plates. Nice to get nice. everything lined up. That reminds up me of the OTC hub tamer I got. It's kind of got some stuff like that in. Maybe like that other one you got that you're gonna get back. Yeah. But it's a nice set. Definitely seen this. Was very impressed. Definitely like that. It's got the carbine bits back here. A lot of cool stuff. 
doesn't take up a lot of room, but you know how much those things cost. And then of course he's got the first gen Milwaukee's. Every toolbox should have at least one Milwaukee in there, whether it's your beat up tool or your main tool. And then he's got the uh, the new snap on impact stubby. What Mako? Yeah, the Mako stubby. Yeah, that thing that thing's pretty nice too. I think right. We move on to the bottom of this uh, side. It's kind of just some random things. I the big drawer, overstock. Really extra storage. Yeah. Uh, fluid extractor. Yeah, goes for the fluid extractor. Goes for this thing here. Extra bits for it. I don't know if you've made a video yet on these ones. Just to get your. Yeah. Fill your transes up for the Euros and. Yeah, and that works with this. Special bits for right? it. Right? You can yeah. pressure it up and it all links together. Yeah, to fill it. This is for the ones that don't have uh, trans dipsticks. To fill, uh, to fill the transes back up as to service the transes. And this is actually metal, not like some of those plastic ones I've seen. It's a metal kit. I gotta look into what getting one of these too, guys. Definitely nice. What's the part number on this one? M MVA 5800. And then it tells you everything it works for. Probably more than that too, yeah. but definitely a nice kit. Use that a bunch of times or what? No, I probably only four. Yeah. Only four or five times. That's one of those things you use it twice and it pays for itself well, though. Still, yeah, the X drives. Yeah. Filling up the X drives with yeah. it. It's perfect for that. Electric drawer. Yep. Power Pro 3. Got to have a power probe. Every drawer's got to have a power probe in it. You got your little end dust. Time saving wire. Yep. Strippers. strippers. This is nice too. Seen these out here. Feeds the solder out. Mako. It's a oh. nice one. Smacks the wires yep. down here. Yep. Holds your wires in there. And then you can just, it's one handed. You solder one handed. Hold the soldering iron in one hand and this in the other. Real nice. Some uh, long snap-on. I don't even think I have that set. That's a nice snap-on pliers. These ones? Yeah. yeah. If they come up missing, you remember that. Buck connectors. <laughs> gotta have them. And here's the power drawer. power drawer. Obviously, you know they gotta take a little bit out of snap-on's book, give you a power drawer, but I like the way they set this up. They even give you a little padding for the little thing here. Put your small paperwork, flashlights, what have you. And then obviously plenty of room for the chargers, all that stuff. They give you plenty of plugs. Is there US, there, yeah, there's USB on here too. Some of those you obviously don't need a big, you know, honking transformer. You could just plug it right into the USB. But definitely dig it. And then he's got uh, he's got the Snap-on uh, Modus Edge. Yeah. Yep. Two ch two channel now. They change it to the two channel lab scope. Yeah, just like the Triton that I reviewed, guys. Nice scanner, all the way updated. Steve don't Steve comes to make some money. He he don't come to play around. Yep. The junk drawer. Yep, got the junk drawer. The random junk stuff. Drawer. Everybody's got a junk drawer. The, uh, this is another nice one. Kind of random, random, uh, no no place for him. He's got the you know? Mayhew or whatever it's called, inner tie, or tie rod tool. Yeah, universal inner tie rod yeah. remover and installer. Yep, I got to get me one of these too. Forgot who exactly, I think it's Mayhew that makes them. Can't no, remember. That's a rebrand, obviously, Maco. Yeah. But I think Lyle. I think it's Lyle. It could be. Or, I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. But I think I've seen the Mayhew oh. one. And he's got the speed, speedy piston for the four. And then another, what, two? Yeah. Yeah. And you could probably use that for the single ones, yeah, you too. Yeah, use them. Um, they're universal, really. Yeah. Kind of use them for whatever. Little gimbal, speedy, razor blades. Uh, rear brake spin. Yeah. Spinning your rear calipers. This is kind of nice. That, uh, you could lift the battery up with no, this. I use that for? Get pulling the seals. semi caps off. Yeah, there you go. Big caps off the semi wheels. Yeah. And grab them and yank them off of that. You just have to pull seals too. Really use it for anything. Yeah, it's nice. Windshields, like that, whatever. Sure. I think that's what it's for is windshield. It's got some micrometers in here. It's got a Heli, Heli kit. <laughs> some random magnets, brake tools. Nice, man. I dig it. That's the tour. I dig it. He's got his computer set up over there. He was trying to get his Alexa going, but having issues. Probably internet. But I dig it. I really like it. Got a handle on the side. It's actually probably bigger in person. I don't know how big it looks on camera right now, guys, but this thing's pretty darn big. I mean, shit, stand in front of it. Yeah. About 6'3". And you're 6'3". So. so, yeah, it's, it's, man, it's probably taller than the Snap-on box, guys. Definitely pretty slick. But I'm going to wrap this one up. All right, guys. That's it. Quick tour of Steve's Cornwell toolbox. I really dig it. I'll try to uh, find the part number to these. I know they just came out with these 100 year anniversaries. I'll put it down in the description, but uh, check them out. They're worth taking a peek at. I like the way he's got it set up. 
It's a new guy. We'll see if uh, we'll see if he's got what it takes to hang with JRC in the shop, JRC 54 in the shop. But uh, he seems he seems he seems good, better than the last guy I'd have to say. So I lucked out on that one, you know. But as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.